Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This lesson is going to be on order of operations. Oftentimes in mathematics we have questions where we're dealt lots of different mathematical operations such as multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, parentheses, exponents, and roots, all in the same question. And so the order of operation tells us the order that we need to solve these types of questions. So the first thing that we need to solve in a question like this is we need to take care of anything inside a grouping. So groupings can consist of anything inside parentheses, curly brackets, or braces. After we've done those, then we focus on the exponents and roots. And after exponents and roots, we do multiplication and division. And then fourth on the list, we take care of addition and subtraction. And then if there's any ambiguity, then we do left to right. So let's just go ahead and jump into a few examples here. Let's say that we have braces, and inside we have parentheses, 5 minus 4 times 3 squared plus 2 braces times 6. So we have a grouping mechanism here. We have the braces. And inside the braces, then the most important order of operations is another grouping. So we take care of what's in that grouping first, which happens to be a subtraction. But that's fine. We can do subtraction first because really we're actually doing the grouping first because we take care of whatever's in the grouping first. So 5 minus 4 simply gives us 1. So we just go ahead and rewrite everything else and we change that to a 1. So then the next step is we're still working inside this grouping. And out of all these operations, number two on our list is the most important, which is exponents and roots. So here's an exponential, 3 squared, so 3 to the second power, which is just 3 multiplied by itself two times. So 3 multiplied by itself two times gives us 3 times 3, or 9. So we go ahead and change that to a 9 and write everything else the same. Now, multiplication is the next. It's number 3 on our list and we've taken care of all of the um, we've taken care of all of the exponentials and any grouping mechanisms in here already. So we do that one. We do the multiplication. 1 times 9 is simply 9. And plus 2 times 6. So we have a multiplication here and we have an addition, but we still need to do the addition first because it's inside the grouping and the grouping is the more important than the multiplication. So 9 plus 2 gives us 11 and then we just do 11 times 6 which gives us our answer of 66. So let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at, we'll just do 4 plus, and then we'll do parentheses, why don't we do 8 times 2, and then we'll divide that by 4 times 5, and we'll subtract square root 81, and then why don't we go ahead and add 2 to the third to that. So the most important thing here is number 1 on our list, we have a grouping, so we've got parentheses, so that means we need to do everything in the parentheses before we do anything else. Now inside the parentheses, we have a root, we have some multiplication and division, and so the highest priority is the root. So let's just go ahead and take care of that first. We'll just rewrite everything else the same way. And square root 81 is really, 2 would be our base right here. And so that basically means what number multiplied by itself equals 81, and the answer is 9. 9 times 9 equals 81, so square root 81 is 9. And now we're still working inside the grouping because that's the most important. And inside the grouping we have multiplication and division. So which one do we do first? Well remember when there's ambiguity number 5 on our list was left to right. So we go ahead and do that. So 4 plus 8 times 2 which gives us 16 divided by 4 times 5 minus 9 plus 2 to the third power. Now we have 16 divided by 4. And 16 divided by 4 is simply 4. And then we multiply the times 5, or write down the times 5, that is. 
and rewrite that. Now the last thing we do is this 4 times 5, which gives us a 20. And we rewrite everything else just the same way. Now notice here, the left to right was really important. If we had multiplied 4 times 5 first, that would have given us 20. And if we would have done 8 times 2 next, that would have given us 16. So then we would have had 16 divided by 20, which would reduce to be 4 fifths. And 4 fifths is not 20. So left to right is really important when there's an ambiguous situation like this. So let's go ahead. We still have a grouping, so we have to take care of that before anything else. So 4 plus 20 minus 9, which is really just 11. And we add that to 2 to the third. Now 2 to the third is 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times another 2 is 8. So 2 to the third equals 8, and then we add 11, and we add 4. 4 plus 11 gives us 15, and we add 8 to that, and 15 plus 8 gives us our answer, 23. So that will be the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson, and hopefully you found it educational. And uh, if there's any comments you want to leave me, go ahead. Um, any specific topics in math you want me to cover, just let me know. And uh, anyway, have a great day, and uh, I'll be producing more videos shortly, and we'll see you soon.